Good morning, everyone. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is December 23rd, Thursday morning. I'm freaking starved. I'm also sleepy because the freaking landscapers showed up a little bit after seven, and it seems like they were out there freaking leaf blowing for like two hours. I'm not even joking. From like seven ish to almost nine they were out there and they're probably still not done. All right, so like I said, I need to make breakfast. I'm really hungry. Uh oh, that wasn't good. I just bent over and my back started to seize. <clears throat> oh shit, not what I need right now. Ugh. Okay, that's alarming. I can feel it ready to seize, which means I need to see if she has hours today because I cannot go Christmas weekend. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta stop filming. Okay, so you get to witness this firsthand. This is one of those days. So my back seized. Didn't go full on faceplant seize, but it started to when I reached in the refrigerator to grab the peppers and the onions. <sighs> Every step I take, I can feel my lower back just ready to, to clamp shut and that's not good. So I am now going to uh, call the chiropractor because I couldn't find the email that had her Christmas hours uh, because I need to get this adjusted as soon as possible. I think she's open normally today. God, I hope so. But yeah, so I now am in, in utter panic here about this freaking seizing up because if it does, that means I'm bedridden for the rest of this vacation and that sucks. So let me get this taken care of. Well, I'm screwed. I just called her office because I couldn't find the email with the Christmas hours. They closed yesterday and she's not open again until next Monday. It is going to be a shit weekend. Okay, that takes care of that. Now I need to try to get something to eat and not face plant. Such is my life, although this hasn't happened in a long time, so I'm thankful for that. But uh, yeah, this blows. Well, kids, it's been a shit kind of a day. Obviously, the last thing I just showed you was that my back went out and that I tried to go to the chiropractor and she closed yesterday, which means I will be dealing with this until at least next Monday. YouTube is our friend. So I went on YouTube to a couple of chiropractic sites and saw some suggestions for how to help alleviate this as best I can on my own. Um, it only works to a point. I did realize that probably doing the stretches that I was doing on my back weren't as effective as doing what I'm doing right now, which is laying on my stomach and arching, trying to convince my lower back that it doesn't need to seize up like that. The other thing is putting the heating pad on there. Uh, the most important part was when I first did this this morning, I actually fell asleep face down on this pillow with my arms underneath me for a while because my beauty slumber was disturbed by the landscapers so early this morning. So I caught up on a little bit of sleep, stretched and did some stuff and it felt okay. But dumb monkey still dumb and stubborn. And I was telling my wife that there's no way that I was going to be sitting here for four hours, not doing something, waiting for her to come home from work. And she's like, for the love of God, like, don't do anything dumb because she knows me so well. And I said, yeah, there's no way that I'm sitting at home. So I did go out to get some stuff at Target and Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. It is a madhouse out there, as I would have expected the day before Christmas Eve. So I got what I needed to get and found that this hurts. <laughs> it especially hurts after I sit in the forerunner. And then when I first climb my way out of the forerunner, I have to sort of lean up against it and wait for the seizing to stop. And then I can walk slowly. And I did get out my tacticane and, and I was using that. When it gets right down to it, yeah, this sucks. So I pretty much will be spending the next few days at least not 100%. At least not my version of 100%, which is probably like 75 for anybody that actually can hit 100%. So, wah, sucks, but such is my life. This hasn't happened in a long time. Let's hope it doesn't happen for a long time after this. And, you know, kind of go from there. So, since I'm not feeling all that peachy, I'm just going to cut this short. So, it's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. 
As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.